Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill with the next episode of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, playing myself in a world full of zombies and other dangerous things. Before we start, once again big thanks Angela Graves, she solved the misery of the uh, not working sewing kit. The problem was the light. It was too dark inside our uh, shelter, so we have not been able to sue. So we just should maybe open the windows and then we will be able to finally increase and reinforce our clothes. But well, before we do that, um, uh, we are just standing on this house, on the stairs. I do not actually remember what we did last. Let me take a look into the basement. Have we already been in there? Like that. Many items lying here. Ah, yeah, we've already been here. We killed that zombie. Now I remember. I think we already successfully cleared this house and we already picked up a couple of different useful things. So let us now just walk out of this window, get back to our. Get back to our uh, shelter and try to finally do what we wanted to do for such a long time, which is care about our clothes. Uh, I think I made some notes there. I'd like to delete them. Delete. Yes. Uh, and also delete this one because that's annoying. Uh, it was not intended to make these notes at, at all. So here we go. What I really would like to know is where this smoke zombie has gone. I'm sure you remember him from the first episodes. He was somewhere around here and we have definitely not fought him yet. Maybe he decided to, to move to another place of the town. Here we go. Back to our shelter. So, close the door. And now I just open the windows, let some light in. So, let's see if that's enough. Do we still carry the sewing kit? Oh, we're carrying so much. I have no clue actually. Where is it? Sewing kit. Show yourself. But it doesn't look like. I think it should be here for the t where the tools are. Is it here? Here is. I think it's here. Yes. So let me try if it works now. Uh, use our sewing kit. There it is. Ah, that looks good. That looks good. And we will use it. Um, wrong button. Sorry. <laughs> let me try it again. Uh, what am I doing there? Okay. Uh, sewing kit used on. What do we want to um, to increase? Maybe we start with our pants. I think pants. No, maybe something that we're wearing at our torso because the torso is the biggest space that the enemy can attack. So maybe we start with the under armor. You repair your tattered under armor. I think it worked, did it? Now we've got a shredded under armor. I think that's better. Hmm, not bad. Let's see if we also trained our skill. Uh, tailoring. Tailoring, that was it. Yeah, 2%. That was not bad. Ah, we will continue with that. I'm sure we will ruin a lot of our clothes because we are still not yet very well trained with it, but we tried anyway. And continue again the under armor. You damage your shredded under armor. Oh, that's not good. Let's directly do it again. <laughs> I'm sure this time we will repair it again. You destroy it. Oh crap. That was our Under Armour. 
but at least we started training. How old are we now? 8%. Oh, that's a long process. I am sure we will be naked very soon. <laughs> uh, however, maybe in this episode we will spend lots of time training our suing. So, the first next thing, maybe we could increase our hoodie. You practice your suing. Did we destroy it? Oh, I hope we did not destroy it. No, we did not. Nothing happened, but we practiced our suing, okay? 12%. Ah. I'm just trying to take a close look what to do. We continue with the hoodie, capital V. You practice your suing. Well, he doesn't do anything. Have we maybe not got any patches left? That could be. Have we any more here? Uh-huh. Threat? Threat? What was that? I don't hmm. We should have... Ah, oh, wait, I will at first drop all my stuff. That's too too much. I cannot, uh, <laughs> I cannot keep in, uh, uh, in, in, in mind what all we have. So I will drop here the funnel, the glow sticks, the flare. Keep the steak knife, but drop one lighter. And the matchbooks. And the MP3 player. And the soldering iron. No, I dropped that elsewhere. I dropped that at our sewing area because it can be used for increasement of items as well. Here, what's that? Matchbooks, okay. Mm. <laughs> I dropped them elsewhere. However, uh, this is our books. I think we had a couple of books with us again. OP. Q, R, dot, and T. Yes, drop them all. This should be food, ain't it? Yeah, cooked meat and other stuff. Uh, have we got any more food with us? Did we find... Oh yeah, that's a lot. So here we've got apples, fish. Keep the cola. And not the crackers. Uh, chunks of meat, we have to cook them later. Press a bottle of orange juice, keep that. Not the orange. It's, well, I will eat the orange and the apples, I'll not drop that. I don't think that they will stay uh, stay fresh for all too long. Great drink. Salt water, I drop that. And the vodka, maybe we can use it for fire making or if we have to celebrate something. <laughs> So, what's that? This is, okay, clothes. We can destroy those. Yeah, at least those both. So let us make some wrecks out of that using our stick knife to cut the arm sleeves first. Six plastic chunks. Plastic. Oh, that was not intended. Sorry. I will drop these plastic chunks if I can find them. Where are they? I think they are very likely on the ground. No, they are not. So we should be carrying them. Can you see any plastic chunks here? Uh, USB drive. I should maybe also drop that. Purple clock timpani. Where are ah? Oh, I've got problems. See what we are have all with us. Plastic chunks up here. See, ha, huh. excellent. Well, um, continue. We we need some some racks or something like that. So we will also cut the. Long sleeve maybe? Or oh, this ripped sweater, yeah, the ripped sweater first. Oh, don't get anything. 
well, is too damaged. Maybe the long sleeved shirt. No, you now I put it on. That was a mistake. Uh, I'll take it off and use the steak knife on the long sleeved shirt. That gives us two racks, allowing us to sew a little more. We are a pro sewer on our hoodie. Ah, the hoodie is made of leather. A leather hoodie. That's strange. Anyway, then we use it on our... Um, ah, what am I doing here? Let's use it on our... Hmm, on our hat. You practice your suit. Ah, that's also leather. Oh, dudes. I think we need some leather in order to really increase our stuff. We might maybe try it on the sewing kit on the ripped sweater. Eh. That's good for training. Let's try to repair the ripped sweater. Maybe that's better than destroying our equipment. On the ripped sweater. There was a You repair your sweater. No, you don't. But our tailoring is going up. That's good. So let us just use a lot more of it. We need to train that. I think we are out of uh, patches now, but that's not so bad. We we just want to train. We use the whole sewing kit for training. I think. Uh, tailoring 46. Yeah, that's developing. Now we've got 62. Oh, we're getting up to. We will soon have tailoring 2, which will already be twice as good as tailoring 1. Come on. I think it's okay to waste one sewing kit on it. Cutting closer. that waste a lot of thread once again uh, 97 we can maybe with a little luck yes tailoring level 2 I guess that's enough tailoring training for today let us now try to get ourselves some more clothes to train with or to repair and therefore we need maybe another zombie or two we have already been in this house and this house and I think also in this house maybe we could go to the last one in this row a raccoon a turkey a cat no zombies to be seen is that just bones oh, I think we killed some kind of predator there. That's this house and we've been in that one. So let's now go for the last one in this row. Oh, I think we already have been here. Okay. Then we go to the next one on the other side of the road. Rattlesnake somewhere. Still no zombies to be seen. I will pick up these rocks just in case we need to throw something at the zombies. Oh, that's a whole lot of rocks. I'll just pick them up. Wait, forgot the rock. That will be very, very good to have. 
if we meet some dangerous foes in there. Which would be somehow exciting. There, also take these rocks, and then we should be prepared. Monster spotted. A zombie. Where is this zombie? Oh, it's far away. It's down there where we fought the other zombies a long time ago. Remember when we got our first medical supplies. But now, we're not going to fight this guy. Instead, we will see if we can get into this where is that zombie? 62? He's still far away. Oh, first zombie soldier! That sounds dangerous. So maybe I try to get up here. Use the makeshift crowbar. Oh, wrong button, I think. On that window and we crush it. Ouch. <laughs> that was loud sound of 24 but I think I hope they have not heard so let us anyway let us uh, clean that window and now get in there a raincoat what else do we find in there it's usually broken window stuff I'll close these windows a wrench no a pot no a bottle of clean water, yeah, I might take that with me. Oh, well, I think I have got enough water with me at the moment. We can get it later. Duct tape, that's cool. Can use it, truly use it to build something. Jeans and socks are good for sewing. Close these windows. And look up here. Uh, these are some scissors maybe also not bad to have I think that was already everything in this house yeah seems so so let us see maybe we can uh, take a look at another house the zombies there they are oh that's a lot of them come on zombie brothers where are they closest zombie 40. Don't know if, if, if he has seen us, but I think we will soon see it. Ha! Excellent. Still 40. Not sure if he saw us close that window. We've got Glamour Pollock. Now I think we already have got a couple of these. I don't think we need more. Scarf? No. Another scarf. That's the house door. Dress shoes? Do we have shoes? Yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah, we're wearing boots. I think boots are somehow cooler than dress shoes. Uh oh. Did you hear that? What's that noise coming from the door? Let me check it. Ah, a zombie. There he is. I think they saw us. Is that a... No, it's a, an ordinary dog, but this is a zombie. And I think this guy knows where we are. Yeah, for sure he knows it. He's just 22 steps away. So, Mr. Zombie, what do you think? Wanna mess with me? Well, come on, show me what you can do. And I think the zombie soldier is right after him. Yes, he is. We will definitely not fight them here. You are slow zombies, so we decide where we fight. We are quicker than this uh, zombie soldier. That's also good to know. Doc is tracking the zombie soldier. <laughs> so here we go. Come on, Mr. Soldier. I'm waiting for you. And now start throwing rocks at this. Uh, I wanted to say motherfucker, but I don't think that this guy is a motherfucker. Very likely he's no fucker at all. Um, push the wrong button. How injured is he now? Not sure. Headshot, 7 damage, that was good. Throw. 
So Andy's dead. We killed the zombie soldier before he was even able to get into the infight. What do we have here? Rocks. Pick these up. Hard leg guards. Roger Redhawk. Maybe that's a weapon or something. A rail gun. Ooh. Oh, oh. Plastic bottle of water. Extended magazine. USP 45. That looks like some fitting elbow pads. Tattered pants fitting. These elbow pads are somehow cool. Steel toed boots. Ah, cool. That's something. But at first, we have to kill the other zombie. Millie. Oh, we miss him. Okay, that means we have to change. Wait, have we still got enough rocks? Uh, a couple. I hope that we will be able to kill him from a distance. 11 points of damage, that was excellent. That was a tough zombie. So, let's butcher the corpse. Cross that nearby. Excellent. What did he drop? A flashlight, Mossberg 500, matchbook, computer gaming. Okay, also interesting. Take that rock. Take these rocks. And ready for fighting. Got just four rocks left. So we have to use our melee strength against this zombie. That's for sure. But at least he's already a little injured. Okay, how injured is he exactly? He's nearly dead. One more attack. Do we want to try it? Yes, we try it. Ooh, we miss him. Okay, that means we have to go over there, pick up this rock, and maybe use that in order to finish him off. Throw, X. Bam! Oh fuck. We need to change position. We need more grass on the ground to deal with this guy. Oh, what was that? Oh! He stepped on a landmine. <laughs> well, it's uh, good news because that means that he's dead, but it's bad news because we didn't see that landmine. <laughs> we could as well have stepped on it. And I don't think that that would have ended well for us. Oh my god, don't like the thought of uh, landmines here. My throw up point is stuck if I... No, we don't have it with us. However, we melee this guy. 181, we have got two punches, two attacks per grass pile. The zombie dies, excellent. Butcher the corpse. At that hoodie, torn shorts. Oh, we, at one point we can go and pick up all these clothes of all these zombies. What did this guy have? A sledgehammer. A fire extinguisher. Cool. I will bring this one to our house if we should ever get in trouble with our with our house fire. I will pick up the stuff later. First, butcher the corpses. That's some very, very interesting equipment. And there comes another zombie. That's still far, far away. However, if we meet them, we want to be prepared with our rocks. By now, we are an excellent rock thrower. Saw that. Take this one, and now let's see what we also want to carry back. Uh, at first from here. I definitely take the elbow pads. I might take these pants with me, I just, or, uh, this rock, that's for sure. Um, steel toe boots, no. That sounds cool. That sounds cool. Railgun. Bam.
Is, can we carry that all? Yeah. So let's now at first bring this stuff back to our home base. And maybe then we can uh, get here another time and pick up even more stuff. That was some nice loot. Oh, we've got a ray gun. <laughs> I'm quite sure we do not know how to use it, but uh <laughs> so we're quite well. See, we already got throwing level six. We're a really throwing pro. We could maybe after the apocalypse, if we should survive all that, we could become a baseball player or something like that. So here we go. Run to the shelter. Overtake the opossum. Here we go. Excellent. So I think uh, yeah, I messed this up. This was originally our weapon pile and I dropped uh, a lot of uh, of tools here. So we make a new weapon pile here. So I will drop here Where are all these? Did I forget to pick up the... Oh. I pressed spacebar instead of enter once again and I left it all behind. That kind of sucks. However, dudes, I think this has been a very nice reward for this episode. Maybe in the... In the uh, a nice result. Maybe in the next episode we can get over there and pick up all the stuff of the dead zombies. Apart from that, I think that Gordon Overkill is doing an excellent job. See over here, all his skills are getting up. He's now better at tailoring, he's excellent at throwing, he's a, a nice cook by now, his melee skill and cutting weapon skill increased. So I'm very, very happy with that. I think in the next episode we might even... Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Yes! Oh! Ah, I totally forgot about that. We wanted to become a hunter. And we have got the skill needed to build ourselves a bow. Who the fuck needs a railgun if you can use a self-made bow? What do we need there for? Cutting tool, we have that. Uh, heavy stick, that's easy. Two strings, that's easy. Yes, dudes, in the next episode, Gordon Overkill is going to build himself a bow. Yes. I'm sure you do not want to miss that, how he uses his new self-built bow against the zombies. So, thanks for your support everybody and hope to see you again for the next episode. Bye!